everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin from GreyFlorals.com and today I'm sharing with you a haul. Um, if some of you follow along with my blog and stuff, you'll know that I did say that I was going to do a spending freeze in the month of January and it went fairly well. Some of this stuff I ordered in like November for pre-releases, but there's only a few things that I bought this month that I wanted to share, plus the things I bought that finally came in. So first I went to Michael's in Tuesday morning this past weekend and I bought two things at Michael's. I bought these two things. So their um, Valentine's Day stuff was 40% off or something along those lines, but I got these. And then I also found this on clearance. So it's a 6x8 Project Life album for $5 by Becky Higgins and it's in this beautiful blue color. I'm dying, it's so pretty. And it's one of their leather albums, so... I don't think it comes with page protectors, but that doesn't matter. I have a ton of page protectors anyway. So I bought this. Really excited about that. And then this I bought it Tuesday morning. It's the only thing I purchased there. And it's, again, a Project Life um, 12x12 album in the faux leather. And this is in the color gray. Um, it was only $7, which is amazing. And it does come with page protectors inside. This is one of the old ones. Um, it comes with the... I don't know what this is called, the sheet lifter, an envelope, and then page protectors of varying sizes, including just regular 12 by 12, which I thought was really um, amazing because I haven't bought, like I think it said it was from 2013 perhaps. Yeah, so this is um, copyrighted 2013, so this is one of their older albums it looks like, but I thought $7 was a great deal, so I picked this up. I had a pre-order at Tupelo Designs LLC. I always have a link to them over on my blog. And they um, had the Stamp Perfect on sale and they always have free shipping. So I decided to um, pick this little buddy up. So far I like it. Um, it does have this squeaky noise as you can probably hear. But besides that it's really nice. I'm uh, happy I picked it up. It was um, less than retail price, so that was good news. I know they sell it at Michael's now, so I could have gotten it for cheaper, but that's okay, because I don't really mind. And then my big haul is right here. Now I got one um, gift certificate from a challenge that I entered on Victoria Marie's Facebook group, so that was really fun. I won a gift card to scrapbook.com. Then I also got a gift card from my friend. She's Becky Biting here on YouTube, so go check her out. She's really sweet and has amazing layouts, but I had this money for scrapbook.com bring a hole in my pocket, and while they had their clearance sale, which was buy two items, I think get one free, I think that's what their deal was. I decided to jump on it. So this is not everything I got. I did leave some of it at home because I don't have my die cutting machine here. So I did get a couple dies as well as this stuff. But the one thing I'm really excited about, which you probably saw in my um, Instagram posts, was this Amy Tangerine. It's called Comrade, but it's a stitching set. So you get um, templates for the letters and numbers and then some thread and a piercing paper piercer and a piercing mat. So I got this. Really excited to do more stitching on my layouts. And then we gotta dive into this. This will probably make it a horrendous plastic noise noise, so I hope you're not offended by it. But. So all of this stuff was on their clearance section. Um, I got a crap ton of stuff actually. I'm quite surprised that uh, $50 got me so far. I didn't want to get any paper. I know there's a lot of amazing collections out there, but I have so much paper and I know I don't need new collections, but I wanted to get things that could last a little longer like embellishment packs or stamps and things like that. So first I got this color box, box fluid chalk ink pad in the color splash. I thought this was the prettiest blue color and I had to have it. Um, next, I'll dive into all of the stamps I purchased. Let's see, I have these ones that are all by Technique Tuesday, which are a little smaller than I thought, but that's okay. So this one says, there's a bunch of sentiments, and it says, Take care, wishing you peace, thinking of you, and a little flower. And this one's called Take Care, so if you want to buy that. Um, they're probably 2x2 two two maybe, size-wise. I'm not sure. They're quite small, though. Then I got this one, which is two little, um, I think they're penguins. They might just be birds, but it says warm wishes and let's cozy up. This is called Cozy Up Owl. So I guess these are owls. 
They don't really look like owls if you ask me. They just look like birds, but that's okay. Um, this one is called Thank You Owls, and it says thank you for all the things you do or for being there, which is really versatile. And I like smaller sentiments because sometimes the sentiments are just way too big that I find in stamp sets. And the two little clusters of owls there. So I got those guys. Um, I got two stamp sets from Avery L. This one's the, uh, it's called Pure Magic, and it's a little bunny in a hat. It says you and me equals magic, or you and me equals pure magic. So I thought that was adorable. That'll be fun to color. Then this one's called Hot Chick, and it says to one hot chick, happy birthday. And then a little chick doing some yoga or some sort of exercise, which I thought was adorable as well. Um, I picked one stamp set up from Hero Arts from their Leo Griffith um, designed line, and it's a 3 by 3 set, and this one's so cute. It's called Party Time, and it has three little dogs that are all partying, and one could be eating the cake or the holding the present, and one can have a party hat on and a balloon. So I thought this was really cute to make some fun birthday cards for my nieces and my uh, cousins with. I got two Jelly Bean Soup Oh, I have another Avriel. That's okay. I have two Jelly Bean Soup stamp sets. This one is called... I have no idea what it's called. This is part of their Shaker collection line, though, so it should be in that section if you're looking because you can buy little, like, boxes to go here for a Shaker card. But I just really liked all of the sentiments here. So it has, like, greetings, oh snap, thanks a bunch, picture perfect, xoxo, hello, hashtag you look great for you, smile. So just really versatile, and these little flowers will be fun as well. So that's fun. Um, I also got this Jelly Bean Soup stamp set, and it's called Word Bubbles. So it says, smile, hello, love this, thank you so, so much, and XOXO. And they also have a butterfly. So really cute. Um, I have my first ever piece of Kaiser Craft merchandise. Really fun. This is a stamp set called A Touch of Gold, and I believe this was under $2, and it's like a pretty nice size stamp set. It has this great, like, dot pattern which I think will be really fun on cards Then it has all of these miss like mix and match sort of things so you have celebrate you're invited you're invited in a different font two different types of happies it says birthday congratulations made with love be happy be bright be you I like those three together that's really cute so this was a really great deal really great deal um, also from Avery L, I got this stamp set called Simply Said Amazing. So it's a bunch of other mix and match ones. So it says you are on your amazing news congratulations trip. Have an, that sounds funny together, but that's okay. Birthday thank to graduate dad, mom, for, and you coach, teacher, friend. So again, you can mix and match those to actually make, you know, sentences that make sense. It looks like the last stamp set that I have here. Um, is this My Favorite Things, You're On My Mind, or wait, it's called I Heart You stamp set. I thought this would be cute for Valentine's Day, even though I haven't used it yet. I still have time, don't worry. Um, so it says, You're On My Mind, I Heart You, Sending You Love, Be Mine, I Just Love You, and then she has this very cute card she's holding. And this is part of their Precious Moments, is that what it's called? Something like that. <laughs> but really cute. So for other things I got, I got this set of Jenny Bolin flares. So they're like the chalk finish. They're called Chalkboard One. So you got one that says Speak, a Star, and Shine. I thought these would be cute. I'm obsessed with flare lately, so this will be fun to work with. I also got this Echo Park flare button collection from their Christmas Cheer by Lori Whitlock collection. They're really bright red and green. Um, to be honest, I should have left these at home because I didn't bring any of my Christmas stuff to scrapbook yet, but I'll get to it, don't worry. I bought these um, cute doodle bug uh, cardstock stickers in the color Lily White. It says thinking of you four times. I thought this would be great for easy card sentiments because I always want white and I hate stamping in white so I thought these would be perfect. I got this fancy pants, um, uh, let's see they're called chipboard pack and it's from Wish Seasons by Kim Watson. So it's like this weird chipboard wood grain hybrid so it looks like wood green but it's actually chipboard and you have like um, six tags and then you have happy times marry everything joyful and believe so I'd like to include these with my um, memory keeping of December this year so I'm going to be using those in a few videos this was also under two dollars and I already used one of these in a layout I showed you in my layout or my monthly wrap-up 
but this is from the Pink Paisley Citrus Bliss Collection and it's called the Insta Kit. It comes with 24 pieces, mostly frames and overlays. So if you look at the back here, you can see that there's um, a bunch of cards you can use and then there's frames and then there's overlays. So there's 24 different designs to choose from and since I have the paper pad still, I thought this would be easy to mix and match with that as well. Lastly, I got four sticker sheets, three of them being Jilly Bean Soup. Uh, the first one I got is the Spicy Social Soup Collection of the Coordinating Label Stickers. I always tend to use label stickers in my clusters, so I thought this would be a great color combo to have. I use green a lot and blue a lot, and then this raspberry color would be fun to work with. The one thing I don't particularly like about Jelly Bean Soup is theirs is never white, it is cream. So I tend to be careful with these because I sometimes like cream and white together and sometimes I don't. Um, same thing with this one. This is from Chilled Cucumber Soup, and this is their Coordinating Shape Stickers. Again, labels I really like, and a cute font. Some tiny word stickers, but again, they're all yellow. <laughs> Cream background. But I do have the die cut pack to go with this one, so again, mixing and matching will go well with this. Then I picked up the Jilly Bean Soup Soup Labels in the Hearty Hodgepodge collection, I assume. And they say things like, hello, sweet, XOXO, today, favorite, thanks, hi, love, family, and awesome. So I can't wait to use some of these on cards. And it's pretty heavy card stock that it's on. I'm quite impressed about that. I thought they were going to be quite flimsy, but that's okay. Lastly, I got my first ever Echo Park um, sticker accent sheet. So this is, a, oh my gosh, one fell off. Let's put that back before I don't realize it's gone. I haven't used most of this stuff yet. If I had used it, it would, one thing I did use was that Amy Tangerine paper piercer, but the rest I haven't used yet because I wanted to film this video, but the lighting's awful and my schedule doesn't work well with the lighting situation, but I'm making it work today. Uh, this is from the Our Family collection, and I don't have anything from the papers, but I thought that these this color scheme specifically is something that I could work with with craft card stock or just the primary colors even. And I really like this ampersand that's floral and all the hearts would be easy to use, so I picked this up. I know I did get a few other things and I can tell you what they are because I have my sheet here. What I also got was, I know I got a die cut, I got a Waffle Flowers Craft um, die cut word that said celebrate. I also got a Jelly Bean Soup Shaker die set, the star one, so it has like three little different size stars and a few other elements. And then I also got one that said thanks, a Technique Tuesday steel die that said thanks with a little line. Um, I'm hoping to show you guys those in a future video when I film at home again, which will not be till summer, but not actually that far away. But I hope you guys enjoyed this haul video. If you have any questions or want any links to anything, I'd be happy to find them for you. But thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. So thank you so much for watching again, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye!